Welcome to number one Petite Street. I'm Jim Williams and I'll be your host today for our program. Let's start right off with a uh, just a little puzzle. Um, what could be that will bounce that's round and yet it can be a lamp? Well, I'll give you the solution to that. I want to talk right now about uh, a book I was able to pick up at the, the store. It's called The Complete Book of Making Miniatures for Room Settings and Dollhouses. And it's by um, Thelma R. Newman and uh, Virginia Merrill. And uh, in there, I found some very interesting things, but it's dated um, back in uh, 1975. So it has some age and some of the technology has changed, uh, but some of the things are very helpful in it. And uh, we're going to talk about one of those things later on in the show. Well, right after I make a couple comments, which is that, of course, we'd like to ask you to uh, subscribe and to, um, you know, if you have a comment, comment down below and definitely like it if you like it, okay? So today's program is going to be about something that I found in this book dated back to 1975 and uh, also have a couple other things to share with you. So what was the puzzle? Well, the puzzle was, you know, what lights, and but also bounces and, and is round. And, and in this case, it's a ping pong ball. Because in my book, uh, it has the instructions to making a lamp a hanging lamp out of a ping pong ball. And so I gave that a try and I'll share that with you right now. So this is my lamp that I made from a ping pong ball. Now you have to cut it off of course and uh, in the drawing there they use the part they cut off as a decorative up here but I just have uh, it this way and uh, so I'm going to light it up. Here we go. Let's see if it's, it lights up. There we are. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how I made it light up. And we're going to dim the lights for just a second. And uh, then we're going to, to show that. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about how I have it lit. Uh, the uh, what I'm using to uh, uh, for the electricity. So right now, though, let's just take some time and we'll turn the lights out and see how it looks. And so here is what our light looks like um, with all the other lights out. So there we are. There you can see it. Uh, our little lamp, our hanging lamp that we made. Uh, using a ping-pong ball. Well, as I said, this is my ping-pong ball light. I made out of a ping-pong ball and uh, some a decorative chain. And uh, we have the light in there and it's lit up uh, by um, a transformer or a power source uh, that was originally for uh, a, uh, a tape recorder and uh, it since has gone but I still have that transformer there and so I used it uh, to, uh, to electrify the lamp and this one here, and you can look 
on it if you decide, oh, hey, I've got this, this plug-in thing that uh, I used on this, but it's gone. Uh, look on there and you can tell what the output is. And this one, it says the output is 12 volts. And that's the exact kind of voltage you want for your dollhouse uh, lights. Then you can also find other things that might have this one here, which is not quite 12 volts, I don't think. I think it's like 9 volts. But this used to be uh, wire, a wiring on a charger for a, uh, like a Dremel kind of drill thing. And it's gone, but I still had the, the charger. So I, I, you can also use that. It won't be as bright as the 12 volt. So don't necessarily have to go out and buy uh, an expensive one, but of course you may want to do that because you can get the whole kit. Uh, but that was just something that, that I thought I would share. So made a light out of a ping pong ball and wired it with an old um, adapter. And now we'll, we'll take some time and we're gonna look at what I did on the dollhouse this week. But what I did get done was to actually put the floor in to the basement. And so uh, we'll be fixing that up to look like the concrete or cement floor that I remember as a kid being in the basement. Now, the reason that these are odd shaped and rounded and is uh, that is uh, to make it look cut away, as they say. So we're actually looking through the ground uh, into the basement. You wouldn't see this, of course. Uh, the, you know, the soil would be from there down, but a cutaway gives you that appearance. And we'll be able then to see all the activities and things that are in the, uh, the basement. So that's uh, our program for the day. I do want to ask you to um, subscribe please uh, make a comment down below or you can um, please if you like it then like it and uh, also um, if you want to send me an email <clears throat> you can email me at uh, one petite street at gmail.com one petite street at gmail.com and uh, one petite street is all one word there so i hope you enjoyed our, our our little excursion into taking a ping pong ball and making a light out of it and where you can find some lighting sources for your dollhouse and uh, where we are on our dollhouse remodel and you have a very good time um, this week and just think big by thinking small and enjoy life and we'll see you next week.